Now, Raymond, I'll start with you. We uh, thought we were going to see you on that Valdez undercard where you originally um, scheduled, but you tested positive for COVID. Yeah. Um, how has your recovery been from that? Um, we've had some guys after fights say it's, it was a little bit more difficult than they thought. How has your preparation been since the last couple of months dealing with that? Yeah, it was definitely more difficult than I thought. I came back, I went for like a jog, and you definitely feel like your breathing is a little different. But, you know, just um, I just kept training, just kept running, and, you know, it comes back. So um, my training has been good. Speaking of your training, you're with one of the best, and that's Robert Garcia and the Robert Garcia Boxing Academy. Uh, iron sharpens iron in that gym in every corner where you look. How is just working there and, and training with them? And, uh, of course, your father and your brother uh, made you a better fighter to this point. I mean, 12-0 and 0 with 10 knockouts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that gym, man, there's a lot of good talent there. Um, you're always just learning. There's just a lot of different fighters. You're just sparring a lot, a lot of different styles. So you just continue just to learn. Did you think at, at just 12 professional fights that you'd be fighting on a pay-per-view? No. That's definitely, this is definitely happening like sooner than I thought. Dream come true for you? As um, you kind of check things, obviously you'd like to headline yeah. a pay-per-view, but as you, you know, go along the path, are things going, let me ask you that then, are things going along the path that you envision for yourself in your career? Yeah, I feel like I'm just putting in the work and it's just showing and good things are coming. So yeah, I just can't wait for what the future has for me. Lastly, uh, what can the fans expect from you? I mean, you've been in the bubble, knocking guys out. Everyone's mm -hmm. kind of seen you on ESPN, ESPN Plus. Now on pay-per-view, bigger stage. Uh, what can the fans watching worldwide expect from Raymond Murataya? Just a good fight. You know, um, I feel like I'm different than a lot of fighters. I have a lot of skills, and I think I'm going a, I'm to a show that on Saturday night. And last minute opponent switch. I know I said last question, but you were preparing for Steven Ortiz, and then yeah. you're going to fight uh, Elias Arojo. Any, uh, you know, quick, quick study on him? Um, yeah, I know just he's an aggressive fighter. Um, nothing I haven't seen before. I'm prepared for anything. Yeah. So I'll be good. Uh, we're going to move on to the second fight, as um, Bob mentioned, this one for the WBO Global and WBC Continental America's middleweight title, the first of the two middleweight fights on the undercard. Hassan, I'll start with you. Uh, but look, big stage, right? Big opportunity for you. Uh, what does this mean to you to be back here in the spotlight fighting on arguably, you know, one of the biggest fights of the year? Uh, you know, um, first of all, I want to thank God, Allah, to bring me here today in face of all of you. And I want to thank my team who take care of me to training, to be ready. I want to thank uh, my partner who helped me to have a good preparation. Thank Bob Barum for this opportunity for this fight. I want to thank my opponent who tell me to the social media, who remember to me to the social media to be ready for the fight. Do you think I'm not ready, baby? Look at me. I'm ready, baby. You know, I'm ready to face you, Saturday. You have too many energy to lose to the wrong place. Saturday night, I'm going to respond to you in the rain, baby. Be ready. I think you are ready. So we have to be two to do the good fight. So I hope you are ready. All right, over here to John Ibeck, uh, who we're going to work through some translators. And, and Buddy's speaking some Kazakh now, right, Buddy? Yes. All right. So, so buddy, that fight for John Abeck against Rob Brandt, what do you feel like, or what, what did he feel like that proved to everybody w with that spectacular performance? I believe he, he proved that um, he's ready for uh, anybody in the top five in the world, any world champion. John Abeck, what do you think? Yeah. Uh, this we box in Kazakhstan. Бул жерде Мексикан стайл сияқты бизде өз өнөрүмүздө бул шакта көрсөтүп тарихта калгымыз келеди. Жане де 2 салмак боюнча алем чемпион болгумуз келеди. Казир сол сол максатта жумус деп атырбыз. Ката бари. Okay, he said I'm here to show the world Kazakh style. He wants to put Kazakh style on the map in boxing, not like all the other styles. And, and his goal is not only to be a one division world champion, he wants to be a four division world champion.
a four division world champion. Well, how close do you, does he feel like he is right now to a world title shot at middleweight? He thinks he should have got a shot yesterday. Erjik bizik ki 100 pays daim bokkelemiz. Bu bizim bulayt kanda championduk championduk titul darga diken kadamız. Bizim komanda men birsa sen bugünü çaksa show gösteriz. He says that he prepared 100% for each fight, and he doesn't want to fight former world champions. He wants to fight present world champions. How does he get one step closer to that on Saturday night? What does he need to do to beat an experienced fighter who's fought in multiple uh, weight classes in Hassan and Dam? Bulgurde, Jaxa Karslas, yeah. Bronze Alim champion, but I'm not bronze Alim champion. I'm not going to be a bronze Alim champion. So, I'm going to be a bronze Alim champion. He said that um, he's a former champion. He's a good champion, but it's easy work for him, and that he's ready to put, to show the world Saturday night. All right, he's saying easy work. We will see come Saturday night. Patrice, uh, undefeated 16-0 with 10 knockouts, but uh, hasn't been exposed much to the U.S. audience. This will be not only your U.S. debut, but uh, your debut outside of your native Canada. What can the American fans expect from you on Saturday night? Okay, first of all, I want to say thank you to Bob. Thank you to my team. Thank you to everyone today. So, um, what to expect yeah. from Canada? Yeah, people for, don't from really people that haven't had a chance to really see you yeah. work. Yeah, that's true. No, nobody really sees me from the outside because I've been fighting uh, in Canada, Toronto, Montreal most of the time. But um, I'm ready. I'm ready to fight. So I'm ready to fight. So there's nothing can stop me now at this level. We're ready. We've been working a lot. We've been working a lot, and uh, we had the stage today in Vegas. We can't um, believe. I, like I can say, we here today, so we make something big. And um, for sure, if we got a box, we got a box. If we got a fight, we got a fight, then we're ready for everything. This is an IBF middleweight title eliminator. Bob mentioned what's on the line. Yeah. Should you win this fight? Obviously, big smile from you <laughs> there. What's it going to take against an experienced fighter in yeah. Skiva Falcao to get that opportunity, to get past him and, and, and get a world title shot? I know that's a dream of yours. Yes. It's a big opportunity. Yeah. I had a few opportunities in the past, but we you know COVID happened, everything happened, so everything went a little bit down. But uh, hey, like we said, uh, opportunity don't happen uh, every day. So when you got them, you got to take them. And uh, that's what we're here for. We've been working a long time. We've been working for many years because that's what bo white boxers working for, for those opportunities. So be ready. We know he's a good boxer, everything, but uh, we ain't scared of none. As we go to the man on my right, is Giva Falcao. 28 no, 20 knockouts. I feel like we've been doing this for a very long time. Guardi, do you have a mic? Or oh, okay. How are you? Nice I'm to see you. I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> um, here we go. 12-round fight, co-main event, pay-per-view card. How excited are you for this opportunity to finally get in a title eliminator one step, one step closer to your dream? Co-main event, luta sem principal. Como é que você está se sentindo para essa luta? Primeiramente, quero agradecer a Top Rank por essa oportunidade e eu estou muito feliz e pode ter certeza que eu estou vindo muito bem preparado para dar o melhor combate da noite. I want to first of all thank you Top Rank, thank you Bob Aron for this opportunity and uh, you can be sure that I'm very well prepared and I will bring the win to Brazil. What has your preparation been like with Robert at the Robert Garcia Boxing Academy? Who have you been sparring and, and what has your preparation been like for this title eliminator? Como tem sido seu treino, sua preparação, seus sparring com o Robert? Usei os melhores treinadores, melhores é, atletas, né? E melhores sparrings, porque eu sei que é uma luta muito importante para mim e eu vou fazer história. O treinamento foi bastante é, reforçado, treinamento bastante duro, que agora eu estou pronto, pronto para a guerra. Uh, I had my one of the best training in the world, the best sparring, the best seconds and everything. I train hard, I sparring hard, 
and now you bring the, the title to Brazil. Uh, after your last fight, I, I would imagine you looked at Bob and, and Bruce Trampler and Brad Goodman and you went like, you went like this, right? Meaning you're ready to, to, to get that belt. What is it going to take on Saturday night to, to, to walk away with that? Na última luta, ela viu você depois da luta mostrando pro Bob, pro, pro Bruce e pro Brad, Brad yeah, yeah. que você queria a luta pelo título. E agora, o que você tem em mente? Eu treinei muito para essa luta. Minha luta anterior foi contra o Russo, um bastante duro, onde tinha perdido para os campeões do mundo por ponto. Eu acabei nocoteando no quarto assalto e eu falei, chegou minha oportunidade, eu quero conquistar. E agora eu estou pronto. Eu acho que essa luta vai me levar até o título. E vai ter ninguém que vai me tirar ela. Então pode ter certeza que eu vou chegar em cima do ringue como um leão. Eu estou aqui como um leão e vou lá conseguir a vitória. Uh, minha, my last fight was against the Russian, as a very tough opponent. He never been knocked out. He fought for world title, and I, I throw him out in the fourth. So I'm prepared. Nobody will take this opportunity from me. I want the title shot, and I will get it. And great fights will be brought to you on Saturday night from the Michelob Ultra Arena right here at Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas and live exclusively on ESPN Plus pay-per-view in the United States. Uh, early undercard starting at 3 p.m. Pacific time, uh, streaming on the ESPN app. Then the two TV fights on ESPN2 and ESPN Plus starting at 4, and then our pay-per-view will start at 6 p.m. local time. I think we've covered it all, right, Bob? We certainly have. Uh, absolutely. Let's go. We're going to pose you guys off for some photos now, and uh, we'll see you all tomorrow at the weigh-ins. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it guys.